hates candy wrappers, screaming babies, green seats with 50 ads and popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, cause dog loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies. Coming to you once again, and for the first time during the holiday taint, (laughs) from Cap City Comedy in Austin, Texas. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I'm just wandering around on the stage, high in my sunglasses. <laughs> I didn't even, I was, I, I thought we'd go back to the regular uh, theme song for this one. I didn't realize we'd do the Christmas song again one more time. And, but you know what? With the decor in here and everything, I'm, I'm glad we did. That, that was... That worked out very nice. And for anyone who doesn't know, that's uh, Garfunkel and Oates that are uh, singing the Christmas. They're not here today, you guys. This isn't a way of trying to introduce them. Uh, but i just like to give them credit because I forget to do so every year. And they've been the Christmas theme song for I don't know how many years now, but it's been a minute. It's Saturday, December 29th, 2018. I'm looking forward to the new year, but right now I'm looking for some name tags. Oh, there they are. I saw Clear and Preston Danger on Twitter. I retweeted that shit. Fear and fear, Aaron Loathing. I like that. I like the way you did that, Aaron. What's that next to you? Star Wars what? The Phantom Morgan. Not as clever. (laughs) Could this be a show maybe on cable? Like a guy just judging name tags? Ryanimator, I like it. Fifty Shades of Gary. (laughs) That's pretty sweet. There will be Brian. What's your name on Twitter, dude? Bor ATX? B O R T ATX. Bort ATX. And uh, you said that you think that I muted you on Twitter? I think so. Because I saw that on Instagram. How <laughs> fucked up? Like, you fucking try to block somebody or mute them, and they just show up on another, <laughs> another thing. What's the point? No, I, I don't think I've muted you over there, but I might have. But, you know, you got through. Good, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll talk later. I saw this Love Actually poster on uh, on the uh, Twitter, right? Yeah. yeah, you put it on there. What's the twist? It just says Love Actually. Oh, is that? Oh, there's a Z that's trying to squeeze in there. I get it now. I get it now. And Richard, are you Asian, Richard? No. And you went with crazy Richard Asians. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to if you're not actually. <laughs> well, great job, everybody. Ooh, there's one lit up over there that looks like it's JFK, but what's it, what'd you change it to? AJFK. AJFK. <laughs> great job, AJ. Great job to everyone. It's all a good night. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done already. Holy shit. Don't let anybody tell you, like, I'm from California. We have the best weed. Well, Texas isn't fucking around. (laughs) Oh, wait, this is shit that I brought from California. (laughs) You can fly out with up to an ounce now out of LAX. Yeah, don't tell anybody. (laughs) Don't don't tell anybody that I did that. (laughs) All right, Doug Plugs, Monday night, December 31st, right here at Cap City Comedy. I'm hosting two New Year's Eve stand-up shows. It's called Doug Benson's New Year's Eve Homecoming Comedy Parade. Well, there's not going to be a parade, really. 
<laughs> Although now that I think about it, it's going to have lots of uh, great comics on there that are uh, started off here in Austin and then went off to uh, other things elsewhere, and uh, including Martha Kelly and Trey Gallion. And uh, uh, it'll be a fun way to smoke in the new year, if you know what I'm saying. Next Saturday, January 5th, uh, 2019, Douglas Movies returns to Helium in Portland for a gassy good time. And I'm doing two shows at the San Francisco Sketch Fest in San Francisco on January 12th and 13th. For all my dates and deets and links, i got a lot of shows coming up next year. Go to DouglasMovies.com. Yes. I had a pretty good feeling you guys would be good at that. This is really... I really am excited to be doing the last show of 2018, the last Douglas movies of 2018, right, right here with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I got a cough that I probably won't shake until May. Here's what's in the prize bag. Oh, my God, you guys. I was just in Irvine, California, doing a show there, so, of course, you get a copy of Irvine Magazine. <laughs> find out everything that's going on in Irvine. Um, this was in the uh, snack box I got on the plane. It's Mario Pitted Snack Olives. Yeah, that can't be good, right? <laughs> I mean, and I touched it, I feel like, oh, that does feel like an olive, but like, what if, you know, what if I squashed it? I didn't squash it, but it's still, it's a weird little pack of olives. I don't get it. A Douglas Movies t-shirt. And uh, this is, you know, this is pretty sweet that somebody's going to get this. It's a little too small for me. It's a large size. I need an extra large. And it's, um, it's a gray, uh, but it's really heavy, heavy-duty hoodie from, uh, from my friends at Weed Maps. <laughs> yeah, they meant to give it to me, and I would have been happy to have owned it, but it's not my size so somebody's gonna get that and then oh this is now we're really getting into some good stuff you guys just a bag of green confetti <laughs> you know because if you want to have a you know a green new year's eve and then a stack of i don't know how many of these there are but it's a bunch of cards it's good for two for one for anything at amy's ice cream <laughs> yeah is that i guess that's good eh that amy's ice cream somebody's telling me with one of these cards I mean, the guy who gave me the cards was telling me that you can get, like, an ice cream cake and then get a second ice cream cake uh, for, for free with these, these two-for-one cards. And there's a few of them in here. I, might, I should have kept one. And then, and then finally, um, for my friends at uh, Glass Action, uh, they make these custom-made... You can have any picture you want made into a nightlight. And I wish I could turn this on for you guys right now, but i got to plug it into a wall. But, uh, but it's very beautiful. Uh, Doug Loves Movies. Nightlight. She was nice enough to make two of them for me so that I could give uh, one away on the show. So uh, if you want to have you know, your pet or uh, your favorite actor, I mean, that'd be great to like, go to bed with like a Jeff Goldblum nightlight. <laughs> Like, yeah, anybody, any picture you want, I think they could turn it into a nightlight. So, uh, so reach out to them on the, on the socials, on Instagram. And you can see some of their work on Instagram. In the past for this show, they've done nightlights of, like, Bob Saget and John Hamm. And, uh, yeah, it's really great. Uh, all that is in the prize bag. Plus stuff, I mean, Austin, Texas, there's just too many great people to have on this show that are here in Austin. So I've got uh, five of them for you guys tonight. Yeah. Please give it up for C. Robert Cargill, Shane Torres, Chris Tellez, Martha Kelly, and Harmar Superstar. Oh, what up, everybody? Hey, 
Hey, all of yous. Hey, uh, hello. How's it going? We're hanging in there. All right. Well, let's. <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for speaking for the group. But I was elected. Let's meet them individually, shall we? Starting with Martha Kelly is here. <laughs> Frequent guest on the show, I'd like to say. Thank you. Always nice to see you. Same. I had to walk over here to see you because all these guys are in the way. But well, uh, we'll work it out as we go. How's right. it going? Good. All right. Thank you for being here. And um, I'm looking forward to more of that Spitfire attitude. <laughs> yeah, just go get. I know I don't want to block these guys over here from seeing all my guests. I'll just stand. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm going to be doing more stand up right here on. Monday night. Isn't it weird to have New Year's Eve on a Monday? It's terrible. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> Whose idea was that? I'm calling my congressman. <laughs> you can't. So Martha Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm good with topical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Shane. <laughs> Uh, Martha, are you you're home for the uh, holidays? Are you, are you here in Austin for a bit? What's going on with you? Well, I live here, and I went home to California before the holidays and then came back here to not celebrate, which is my favorite thing to do on the holidays. So, Let's Just skip around and avoid them entirely. Well, this probably isn't a fun way to start the show, but my mom died right before Christmas two years ago, so I know I'm, it almost made me giggle. Not that she died, but that it bummed everybody out. Um, but that, that was just a good excuse to not have to celebrate anymore. And I'm turning red, so maybe we should move along. Yeah, this is really upsetting me, like the middle section of the movie Gremlins. I fast forward through that, but uh, I'm sorry to hear that. And let's, uh, you know, I'll get together with you every year and pretend there's no Christmas. I love that uh, as a concept. Thanks, I, I, yeah, I think that's really, you know, that's how you finally win this war on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore it all together. Yeah, let's do it, you guys. Um, but uh, what else was I going to ask you about? Oh, baskets. What's going on with baskets? We're um, starting season four shooting in February. And yeah. then That's I don't fantastic. know. Yeah. <laughs> you can clap for that. And um, I, I love the people I work with. So that's fun. I'll go out there for three months and then come back here. Love it. Thank you for being here tonight. And uh, yeah, we're going to. Sounds like I can't wait to party with you on New Year's Eve. It is, since I'm uh, sober in a 12-step program, it's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> Go to fucking rage! <laughs> Otherwise, you, it would suck. Do you, ever yeah. lose, do you ever lose somebody on the 31st? Is that going to come up again? Is that going to be a... Uh... Or is it, does that count for the entire holiday season, you think? It's the whole... Yeah, the whole thing bums you out. It doesn't really bum me out any, any more than it ever did. It's just a f <laughs> Do you want to know what's in my bag, or...? <laughs> That's basically how we do it. What, what saddens you about the holiday season, and what did you bring to give away? Also, the countdown is in, in better if you start order. from 12. Yeah. <laughs> No, we'll be back to you that in a second, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm just going to uh, okay. you know, get an opening uh, statement from each of the guests. <laughs> <laughs> uh, joining us for the first time to my direct left, it's C. Robert Cargill, everyone. We call him Cargill at film festivals and whatnot. Yeah. All right, and and everyone calls you that. Even my wife, yeah. <laughs> my wife. Why did you give me one so early? So um, <laughs> thought it would take a second for her to come up. Uh, but uh, thank you for being here. 
And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I mean, he's a, uh, would you call yourself a Austin legend? No. <laughs> not, you not, say, not in public. Would you say Austin resident? I am definitely an Austin There resident. you go. So. What's your zip code? Uh, <laughs> Three one, baby. Yeah. Wait. How's that? That's the two guys in back. <laughs> What's that? Jesus Christ. Was that the first, first, in the first 40 zip codes ever given out? Did you just say 3-1? Yeah. That's all you have to say? Well, I mean, everybody knows it's 787. No, they don't. I mean, I, I may be a very small percentage, but that, that takes it from everyone to a little less than everyone. <laughs> And uh, uh, <laughs> what are you working on? Is there something happening uh, screenwriting-wise? You co-wrote the amazing Doctor Strange. That wasn't that wasn't the right title, but I was close. No, that that wasn't. I got the last two words right. No, it was, uh, was Doctor Strange. But isn't it funny that now there'll be Spider-Mans that are not amazing, but those two get to call themselves amazing, <laughs> they and they are the least amazing of the bunch. They're kind of spectacular. <laughs> Could be spectacular incredible. Spider-Man would have just been better, uh, you know, anyway, just because of the S's. <laughs> Everyone likes a little alliteration. They love it. That's the word I was looking for, but I went with S's. <laughs> well, that's why you brought on a writer. Yeah, well, you're here to be, I mean, how do you, I mean, writing for Dr. Strange, he's so smart and strange. But Andy's a doctor. It's, oh, it's, it's too it's, much. It's a complicated skill set. It's, yeah, he knows way too much. And he also uh, called Iron Man a douchebag. <laughs> also true. Best utterance of douchebag in a motion picture. Um, so what, did I ask you a question? You did, uh, but, <laughs> but fuck the question. Um, no, uh, yeah, no, I've uh, been working on a lot of stuff. I had a new book that came out this year, uh, and uh, uh, just a, a collection of uh, horror short stories, and uh, working on a bunch of dif different films in the background that uh, I'm sure, you know, there's somebody with a sniper uh, up top ready to take me out if I said it out loud. So, you know, aside from that, no. Oh, please say it out loud. <laughs> It's already been a very dark show. Two words, Care Bears reboot. <laughs> oh, three words, Gritty Care Bears reboot. <laughs> Wait, Gritty's going to be in it? <laughs> it's the Care Bear stare. I mean, Gritty really just changed a word for the world. <laughs> All right. That's en enough of you. Come on, you guys, be nice. This is his first time. Uh, and here's another first time guest. Chris Tellis is here, everybody. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to you, Shane. <laughs> uh, I'm in trouble? Chris is a, no, I just thought you might have thought you got jumped over. Uh, Austin Comedy Phenom. How do you, what do you, we've stood around and smoked weed together. How do you, yeah. see so you know movies and movie trivia and stuff, but how do you think you're going to fare today against this, uh, this panel? It's interesting. I've thought about that because I'm like, man, I've seen a shit ton of movies my whole life. So I know uh, I'm more of a faces guy. So I was like, are we going to get into some like deep cut actors that I'm like, God, I don't know who the fuck that is by name, but I know I'm, so I don't know. I'm Let me interested. give you an example. Have you heard of Gwyneth Paltrow? <laughs> I've heard of him, yeah, he's great. And uh, he invented yoga. I love, <laughs> I love big blockbusters. So let's just stick with those. <laughs> no indie films. Oh, well, shit. I gotta, you said that kidding. in the wrong I gotta, do a, I gotta do a rewrite. <laughs> hey, I had a movie pass. It's <laughs> Is that officially done? Uh, for, with me, yeah. I, yeah. I'm just getting so damn confusing. I was like, it used to be okay to pay for the food. Now I feel like movie pass is not saving me movie money. Movie pass has a new yeah. rule. To get your next ticket, you have to solve an algebra problem. Yeah. You get to see three shitty movies this month. That's pretty much what they do. Oh, they just narrow it down to, like, right now, the only movie you could see on it is Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah, right now, yeah. Sherlock and Holmes. Oh, That's what an idiot way. I am. <laughs> Sherlock and Holmes. It's called Holmes and Watson, and don't believe the 6% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's gracious. 
Are we Generous about- is the word I meant. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I haven't seen it, and I'm very disappointed because my, for my money, I, I'm going to see it anyway. Just for that shot in the commercials where uh, a bee's nest, a bunch of bees get loose in a library, and and then uh, Holmes and Watson both take out guns and start shooting at the bees. <laughs> How can that movie get a 6%? I'm going to see it now. Yeah, Even if I'll that's the only out. laugh in the movie, to think of that, that they just would start shooting at bees. <laughs> Shooting at bees. Maybe it's only in the. Maybe it's one of those things where it's only in the commercials and it's not in the movie. Yeah. You like didn't make the movie, but they thought we got to put something funny in the commercial. Everybody's just gonna leave. The after trailer's that part doing now. great on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> All right, all right, Chris. Well, good luck today. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for and uh, and then yeah, let's go. Let's double back, everybody, and say hello to Shane Torres. Wow. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, here's a guy that's uh, you're uh, you were uh, you know <laughs> doing it doing things around these parts, and then you went to the uh, Big Apple. You went to New York City. Yeah, well, I'm from Fort Worth, uh, Forty Worth, uh, and then I moved to Portland, and now I live in New York. Yeah, and I never did comedy in Austin. Never. <laughs> I mean, I have, but never for... It wasn't, eight. yeah, whereas you didn't come up here or start out here. No, no, much. I wish I had, uh, because the Mexican food sucks everywhere else. But, uh, uh, yeah, but no, I'm happy to be here now. Yeah. Yeah. And we had, you were on the uh, 12 Guest I, Show in uh, New in York. In New York, yeah, the Gramercy. Yeah. And then I did the uh, San Diego Show, too. Yeah. So this is your third time. Yes. All right. I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm also a little thrilled. I'm a little day drunk. Have you ever won? <laughs> Were you ever the winner? I won on my first one. You did? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it was pretty You won brilliant. in Portland? No, I won in San Diego. I was never on it in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus but Christ. When, you came in third in Fort Worth, though. Uh, <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of Amarillo. I, uh... Uh, well, good luck today. And, Thank you, sir. <laughs> and uh, finally, on our five-person panel, it's the one, the only Harmar superstar. Hello. Amazing singer, performer, you know, uh, shows all weekend long here here in Austin. Why why Austin, Texas for New Year's weekend? Um, well, the offers came in, and I said, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's uh, I have a new project with uh, Sabrina Ellis from A Giant Dog and Sweet Spirit from Austin here. So uh, we're playing our first shows here uh, over the next couple days. And uh, we just did a whole kind of U.S. tour, but we decided to save Austin for last and do it at New Year's time and just make it a party. And so it's tonight and tomorrow night as well? Well, we're doing the Heartbones show tonight. We're doing the entire Dirty Dancing soundtrack, plus like Shut five, five of our new songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, uh, Shane, let, Shane, let my guest talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pete Holmes isn't here. I should um, fill in. Yeah, so... <laughs> We're doing that tonight at 310 ACL, and then I do a Harmar show, like a classic, just straight up Harmar show uh, there tomorrow as well. And then on New Year's Eve, we play at Barracuda. So we're just sort of hopping around. What time is that Barracuda thing? I, I, we're, I think we're on early. They want us to bring the people in early, which nobody goes out early on New Year's, so that's going to be a cool experiment for us. Um, <laughs> But I think we go on at like 9 or 10, and then th- there's a, the, the Golden Dawn Orchestra playing in a bunch of really great bands from, from Austin, too, so that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, well, the early show here is probably sold out at this point, but uh, the late show has some tickets, so choose wisely. Choose wisely. <laughs> Come tomorrow. Come over to 310 ACL. All of you listening at home in a day or two, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's. I'm gonna get some messages from some uh, people here in Austin that they uh, w- wondered why they didn't know about all this. Yeah, they, they gotta learn to read. <laughs> <laughs>
But, you know, there's just a lot of stuff to choose from, so it's great. I mean, you must also like Austin because the audiences are so good here. I do. I love Austin so much. I was actually looking at um, buying a, a house here, and then I realized I could not afford that right now. <laughs> I hear 3-1 is great. 3-1. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. Three>, <laughs> I'll just stick with one house, I think. I got too big for my britches. All right, well, thank you for being here, and uh, everybody go see his shows uh, this weekend if you can. And uh, let's do it, Martha. What do you, what do you got in that bag? Um, I brought a lot of garbage, and I apologize, but I have to move out of my apartment in a month, so I got to get rid of stuff. Um, I brought a, uh, most of this is from a marketing event where Entertainment Magazine tried to trick shows into nominating each other for Emmys. And it worked for everyone but Baskets. Uh, sorry, I'm bumming everyone out again. This is a Jedi Conan pop, I don't know what, but it's a bobblehead. Um, I would have taken that. I guess That's pretty. Chris, people love those Chris, things. Chris wants it. Sorry, oh, she just guys. gave it to me. So. Sorry. Yeah, he, okay, knows, well, he knows what the eBay uh, price is on, on that right now. Yeah, I'll just put it on this back table. This yeah. has been out of the original container, so I think it's worthless. Oh, <laughs> Martha, you played with it? What did no, you do to I that thing? It. I think I squashed it. I swear I haven't opened it. Oh, she it. just stepped on it or something. Well, I also, I'm sorry to brag, but they accidentally gave me two gift bags, so I have another one at home. If someone wants that one instead, you can have it. Or you can have both of them. This is a um, first aid kit from 911 on Fox. <laughs> this is a t shirt um, from Schitt's Creek with oh, a. With a what face. size is it? I don't know because I didn't want to open it. Here, people, pass it down. People get mad if you open stuff. Um, the rest of it's pretty bad. This is a book. <laughs> I mean, it's not that, it's just heavy stuff. I mean, physically heavy, god damn it. The Alienist, it's a book about a TV show called The Alienist. Um, oh, that's on TBS. so much more stuff than me. Uh, well, I gotta get rid of stuff. This is um, a DVD set of the Vietnam War by Ken Burns. <laughs> Uplifting, it's a good holiday holiday classic. If you start it right after this show, you might be ready for next year's New Year's Eve show. That has also not been opened. Okay, this is uh, season one of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Ah, I'll open. take that. Thank you very much. Um, there's this is uh, this is the worst thing. This is a T-shirt from a, a tour I did with Pat Dean and Avery Moore this summer called the No Refunds Tour, where we did end up having to give some refunds. <laughs> my, my dumb face. Oh. <laughs> I'm almost done, I promise. Okay, that's cool. I just came to pick it all up. Oh, God. Uh, these are some earbuds, I don't know. Jeez. Uh, from La Fox Las Vegas. I don't know what's happening with that. This is, says Votish, and it's a um, thing you plug your phone into. I don't know. And then the last thing... Oh, it's from the people at Blackish. This is a book of pictures from season one of American Gods. And, um... People like that. Yeah. And then this canvas bag is from Killing Eve, and that is all the stuff that, that is I brought. amazing That's stuff. A, That's a great bag. Yeah. Good luck getting that all back in the bag. That's, yeah, that's going to be tricky. You, might, you know what? You might have to hang on to that. Oh, hold on to that. Yeah, this. hang on to that. Woo. Oh, I don't want this votish thing. <laughs> I tried. It didn't work, you guys. Oh. I totally voted. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> we were just starting to get over that. <laughs> told, you us, told you us now. <laughs> yeah, look, I grew up in this state. And I felt uh. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. So there, that's all of Martha's stuff. Let's hear it for Martha for yeah! bringing all this stuff. Wow. That is a that is a heavy bag. Mike Tyson's gonna punch it. 
<laughs> well, you heard me, Shane. What do you got for us for the bag, Chris? It's your first time right. on the show. I'm excited to see what you've done here. I wish I could have gone uh, before Martha. Um, I think that's what you're all saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I got this little bong. For oh. Hangle, 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 hangle. It's a little cute, like that's on the go cutie. emergency bong. Hold for you. It's on the go bong. Yeah. And uh, I brought some fart bombs. Uh, <laughs> It's a six pack uh, from Little Joker. And uh, it's for you this New Year's the party, you know, you, you decide when it's over. So, right there. <laughs> or when it's begun. <laughs> and the uh, only other thing I brought, I uh, figured since it was movies, I brought a copy of one of my all time favorite movies, Army of Darkness on DVD. Oh, okay. And then uh, you guys could even have this tote bag. It's a tour from my friends Avery Moore and Robert Segovia called the Send Fascist to Hell Tour, and I was not invited on it, and I did not even know I had that bag till today, so that's yours. <laughs> the hell with them. All right, good job, Chris. All right, buddy, there you go. Yeah, fart bombs. I think that's the first on the show. I will watch them carefully. Shane, what do you got? Um, I'm staying at my best friend I grew up with's house, and uh, I've been drunk all week. So I stole a bunch of his DVDs. <laughs> you guys all have oh, DVD that's players what you're still, right? <laughs> but there's also, there's other stuff. It sounds like you've also stolen a lot of his alcohol. <laughs> yeah, he got rid of it before I got in. Um, I have, also there's a bumper sticker from Sherwood Forest, Renaissance Fair. Uh, <laughs> if you're a fucking dork. I have Spider-Man 2 playing cards. Probably not a full deck. <laughs> uh, the Notebook. By the way, this is Platinum Series. So. <laughs> um, the Last Dragon. So if... Y- y- yeah, okay. So not, yeah, now it's not such a shitty prize bag, is it? <laughs> Pricks. Uh, but we'll slow down. Hang on for one second. The Notebook. I get it. He probably won't even notice it's gone. <laughs> but how dare you take a man's last, yeah. last dragon? How dare he still have DVDs? Good point, good point. It's in the bag. It's and probably then, not uh, in the box. Uh, also, I have um, a copy of Hudson Hawk. Uh, so if you've ever wanted to see Danny Aiello sing Swinging on a Star, there you go. Uh, and, I'm, I'm um, starting to wonder if you took them from my DVD collection. <laughs> I'm getting very concerned here. And I'm officiating a wedding this weekend, so if anybody wants to be my plus one, that's also... (laughs) (laughs) Dudes included. We got a dude over Uh, here. Open bar, dude. Yeah, at least one dude over here. I'm probably just going to take Tellez. I love that. (laughs) That's everything. Does does Tellez have a suit? Yeah. I'll get one. Yeah, I mean, if it's for a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Old baby sell fun. suits, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just show up in a pair of shorts and people are going to be like, is that Old Navy? And you'll be like, yeah, head to toe. I'm wearing them too. <laughs> just seeing how far I could go with this cord. Cargill, also a first timer. What have you uh, got for us this evening? Uh, I didn't know I was supposed to bring something. See, this is what happens to the first timers is uh, they have to go into their I, wallets. I, I, have a, I have a couple complete punch cards for Lick. If the people are excited about that. Is that good? What do you get? Oh, that's really good ice cream. And the complete- so if it's complete, you just get, you get a Lick? You get free ice cream. <laughs> How many? Like a scoop? Scoops? Uh, that's a good question. What's the payoff here? Uh, one, one, uh, let's see here. Uh, two scoops free. And, uh, with, just with that card? Yeah. All right, hand one over. I'll give two. You'll give him both? Here, here's three. Let's go. Three? I, I, why, do you have, why do you get them fully punched? Why How don't do you, you ever get fully in? punched? They go, let's move on to the next card. Never collect. Do you just collect them? Also, so there's competing ice cream companies in this prize there, bag. There is, there is a method to my madness, I swear to Christ. <laughs> you saving up for a birthday party? And once you get... <laughs> Once you get a million licks. Look, if you really want to impress eight-year-olds, I'm just saying. <laughs> this was on the arm, Tyler. No. It... <laughs> no, 
Well, the thing is, is if you save up three of them, you get a whole pint. And so I actually saved them up. And then when it's Friday or Saturday night and there's a huge line, if you get pints, you can skip the line. So I just walk up and say, <laughs> grab two pints to head home. I hand them my six cards and then I take the fuck off and don't wait in line. And then everybody goes, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> And I'm like, I'm the guy who has six punch cards, motherfucker. <laughs> Lou Reed lives. The ice cream game is very intense here in Austin. That's fantastic. But how many pints do you have in your freezer right now? That's what I want to know if you're saving those I, for something bigger. I don't bigger. know if you noticed this row up here, but I think uh, uh, there, there are no pints left in my freezer. <laughs> we look alike. <laughs> I ate ice cream at his house today. <laughs> Do you have any twos? <laughs> All right, so these are going to the prize bag. You sure you really want to get... Yeah. I mean, this I'm is... I'm getting free beers here. This it's is front of training. line shit right here. Speaking of free beers... Uh, <laughs> okay, we got some orders. Can I get a rye whiskey on the rocks, please? Yeah, and you got a little table there behind you if you need it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take another Pearl Snap. Yeah, I'll take another uh, Tito's and soda, please. I will take a Colorado Bulldog. <laughs> Ugh. Is that weird? That real quick, I got I to gotta do an ad real quick. Tito's. <laughs> the handmade vodka. Made by one man. Named Tito Beverage. Isn't that right, Martha? That is right. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, can I There's not you? enough sober people in beer ads. <laughs> what would you like? Would you like some sort of beverage? Uh, ice water, if possible. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> I am looking forward to New Year's Eve with you. <laughs> that was going to be sweet. Um... What else do we got to do before we continue? Carmar's back. Mm. Sean. Hello. If I, can, if I can call you that. Yes, you can. Uh, what do you got? Okay. Uh, I have a bunch of thoughtless merch here. Let's hold on. Yeah, but it's, all, it's all good. It's thoughtless to me because I have thousands of these, but uh, you might not. So I repressed my albums Bye Bye 17 and Best Summer Ever this year. <laughs> so you get those on vinyl. And then uh, I have uh, a couple shirts for you. One is a Heartbones shirt that is in the Dirty Dancing font. So oh, there you go. fuck. Yeah. Designed by Julian Gross. And then uh, a shirt that's about to go out of date in about two days, which says Armour Superstar 18. So uh, I got a lot of these in my basement. And in about two days, I, uh, they're going to be vintage. So the price is skyrocketing. <laughs> All right. Nice. Very nice. Go. Thank you so much for bringing all that. <laughs> I will consolidate over here if I can. And you, you just were carrying all this? It wasn't in a bag? I didn't bring a bag. <laughs> Listen, I flew here. I didn't bring an extra bag. I know, bag. right? You just had to carry this on the plane. <laughs> yeah, I just carried it like that. <laughs> That's all the merch I brought. Put this in the captain's closet. <laughs> I'm a gold member. <laughs> There's a hotel chain where the top member level is black, and they say out loud to me sometimes, are you a black? I'm just like, really? Of all the colors... <laughs> what hotel chain? <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> the Kimpton. Don't need to. It's a Kimpton. I think the big question... Speaking of dirty words... What's that? I think the question everyone's wondering is, are you? I am a black, yes. Good for you. I mean, they'll actually say to me, as a black, you're entitled to... And I'm just like, are you, are you kidding? That is crazy <laughs> that they thought that was a good idea. It's really weird, but they just do it. <laughs> Uh, oh, here are the drinks. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for all the uh, hardworking people. Thank you, brother. Shout out to my little friend, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give them a few extra bucks. It's the holidays. Right? Right here in the taint, that's a time for giving. Because that's, that's the time where the... This is the time where the tax man... It's either give it away or the tax man will take it, so why not just give it away? That's my strategy. 
I don't think that's right. <laughs> but it was worth a try. A put, show, put it man. out there. It's fantastic. Martha? Oh, yeah. Hello. One question that you hope you will definitely know the answer to. Uh, what was the last movie that you saw? Um, I The last movie I saw was uh, Frozen on an airplane, and it's the first time I saw it, and it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Top five scenes, go. Um, the, ones, the one where she sings Let It Go. Uh, there's one where the snowman melts, and then he gets unmelted. Wait, I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> Never mind. It's great. Ear muffs if you haven't seen Frozen. Um, I've seen Frozen not only the motion picture, but uh, I saw it on Broadway, and I saw it at uh, Disney's California Adventure theme park out in Anaheim. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that theme park did it better than Broadway. Really? Yeah, for one thing, it's only an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably cheaper. Uh, and it's like some, so it's like kind of children in like wigs and stuff. Uh, you know, like the villain, uh, not the villain, but that guy, that bald-headed guy, or he's not bald, but he has, a, he has a wig, and it flaps off of his head, and you see that he's bald. That's usually played by like somebody that's probably like a high school senior with a, you know, with the chops to play an older character. <laughs> But the it's shops. but it's amazing. It's I've seen it a few times. It's amazing every time, and the Broadway one. I almost walked out at intermission because she'd sang "Let It Go." What, what, what else was a dumb place to stop? We heard the best part. Now you can leave if you want. But do, I, I do they want do it again at the end like they do in the movie. I don't think they do it again at the end, but maybe they did. <laughs> Did you leave at the intermission? I didn't. I stayed, and there's a whole number. You know how in the movie they go into that guy's shack, and they, they like want to buy some stuff, and they have some awkward exchanges. And, Are you uh, talking about the first season of True Detective? No, talking about... <laughs> We're all talking, it's not just me, we're all talking about Frozen. I don't know, buddy, time is a flat circle. <laughs> that you can skate on. Um. But in the movie, he says, I also have a sauna that you could enjoy if you'd like, you know? And, uh, I'm pretty sure you're talking about True Detective. <laughs> no. Talking about Frozen. And in the Broadway musical, there's a whole number where everybody dancing around is in uh, skin-colored uh, outfits, Ugh. and they're and but they're supposed to be nude, and they're uh, dancing around, singing about how great it is to to sit in the sauna. <laughs> no, that's definitely True Detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never and seen it's it. It's a but whole I'm number know. that they added to the Broadway show. That's just like the whole time I was looking around, going, "This isn't real." <laughs> This isn't, this isn't happening. Like, what is going on? Oh, God. What's the song called, you guys? What is it? <laughs> the person, they're, they're all wondering. The person that went, is noise. not far off. It's, <laughs> the title of the song is like, Schlash Flukin or something. It's called Flesh Colored Skin Suits. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll look in, I'll get the corrections tomorrow and look into it. And uh, I'll hit you guys with that in the new year. Um, so did you like Frozen? <laughs> yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Are you still... So, yeah, yes, I, love, I loved it. I really loved it. I like it. <laughs> that snowman is funny. I like the He's snowman. He's a fucking idiot. He doesn't even know that sun is bad for him. That's funny. He was okay, but my favorite part was the song Let It Go because my niece knows how to play it on the piano and my nephew used to sing it because they were littler when that movie was out. So, That's forget That's really it. sweet. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the point where you go and they died in October. There's my mom died last Christmas, if that, that helps. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh... <laughs> My niece and nephew are alive and kicking, so. 
That's nobody cares. <laughs> That's true. She did. That's their names. You know, I auditioned for Frozen, didn't get the gig. That Josh can. <laughs> Another disappointment if you guys want to share that with me. So. The Broadway? No, no, with the reindeer, they went another way with it, and he doesn't speak. <laughs> he doesn't talk. I had, to lo- I had to lose a lot of weight. His then. friend just pretends to talk for him. All right, uh, Chris, what's the last movie you saw? Um, I re- man, uh, well, I've seen it a bunch of times, but I recently rewatched it. Uh, Blockers, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, oh, you like that movie, right. Blockers? Man, I thought the movie was fucking hilarious. You know, because uh, you I know they're implying that the word cock is in the front there. Yeah, cock blockers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they put out a movie that's ostensibly like a family movie. Yeah, but it's to, it's called Cock Blockers. Yeah, yeah. They have the yeah. cock on there and <laughs> the word blockers right after it. Like, remember that Billy Crystal <laughs> comedy? Uh, Analyze this? No, I've uh, heard of, of it. I've heard of it. You know uh, Robert De Niro. Seen. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it though. Is it about cock blocking? Yeah, it was originally called cock. Analyze no, it's just this. the expression "analyze this" means you know analyze my dick and balls, but they oh. decided to call it "analyze this" because they were going for a more you know family audience. Oh, I thought it was just gonna say "analyze" and then just have Billy Crystal under it. And I'm just saying this. I don't like when people <laughs> sneak dirty words into things and people don't even know they're there. Meet well, the fuckers can. Fuck, fucking suck well, my yeah. dick. It's meet the fuckers. <laughs> okay? it. Fucking meet the, the fuckers. fuckers. Yeah. Just fucking call it that, you this fucks. Is, we're the fuckers. <laughs> if you change your perspective, it could be analyze this, though. So, <laughs> well, that's, you know, the, that's the sequel. Probably, probably would have seen it. <laughs> that's analyze yeah. that. Yeah, analyze, analyze, this analyze this, too. <laughs> yeah. Seen it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, an, it. no. What was the sequel? Was analyze, analyze that. that. Yeah, that's Robert De Niro's Analyze that anus. What? Oh, Blockers has a sequel. Be like, cock blocking again. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> blocking it up again. I, I didn't. I've, I've never been a big fan of John Cena, and then uh, I thought he was like super funny in that. I movie. think he's really funny in uh, Amy Schumer's movie. Oh, and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's when the turn for me for Cena started happening in that movie. I was like, oh, he's well, that's lost. the first one he did. Well, I was. I'm like a longtime wrestling fan, and he kind of ruined wrestling for a while. Oh, yeah. Hope Wait, he listens to did, the podcast. Oh. How did he ruin? <laughs> I Calm thought he was down. One of the good guys. Well, he made it obviously fake. It used to kind of just be. Oh, like, he uh, made it obviously it fake. It might be fake. It's pretty real oh, right now. Fuck me. <laughs> There's a guy dressed as a dragon who cast a spell on a Chinese person, and all of a sudden. I'd like to see you step in the ring with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'll tell you what, terrifying. I'll actually hit him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he will burn you. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll still both be athletes. Hey, I'm saying I'm. A, <laughs> I'm on good terms with John now, okay? Yeah. We, I really, first I, name basis. I really liked him in Daddy's Home, too. Didn't see it. It was really fun. I still support Mel Gibson. Uh, <laughs> still support. Like, it's ongoing. <laughs> yeah. We're giving updates all the time. We're a still divided supporting. country. We're yeah. divided country. Are we cool with this Mel Gibson yet? shutdown? <laughs> um, I'm drunk. <laughs> Did anybody see that Kurt Russell Santa Claus movie? Yeah. I mean, I haven't watched it. Probably won't now that Christmas is coming on. But, man, that seems like a great choice. (laughs) Santa loses his technological shit in a big city and then has to go on adventure through the city and it's played by Kurt Russell. It is quite literally Escape New- from New York for kids. <laughs> it's the goddamn prequel to show to your eight year old so when they're 12, it's like, hey, you want to see a cooler movie with Santa? <laughs> it is the gateway drug to Kurt Russell movies. Instead of a sleigh, he's got a surfboard. Dude, well, Santa does not fuck around in this movie. Yeah. He is like they I, somebody somebody did a really good job explaining it going, you know, I'm sure Kurt Russell came in and they interviewed him and you know did, did the audition and said, "Well, we want you to like be Santa Claus." And he's like, "I'm Kurt Russell." <laughs> and they go, "Let's go with that." <laughs> and it works. Could you be jollier? I'm plenty jolly. <laughs> Haven't you seen used cars? <laughs> He's the best. He's awesome. How do we get him on this show? I mean, you guys are great, but Kurt Russell. (laughs) Thanks. He really nailed the look Cargill and I were going for. (laughs) He really... He did the beard, he did the the gut, and uh, uh, we, we, we are failing by comparison. We are. 
We're not even one Kurt Russell combined. We, we do have some free lick cards still, though. Then we, you still have some? We still, oh, I didn't give all of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I gave you enough for a pint. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it, Amy's. <laughs> Hey, Martha, jump in whenever. <laughs> oh. no, I, don't know, I don't have anything right now. <laughs> Nothing to report at this time. Back to you in the that. studio. Shane, what was the last movie you saw? I, uh, I saw Aquaman, uh, that unflushable turd of a movie. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Oh, God. Well, because Aquaman floats. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you, I went with my brother and my two nephews, and my nephews, who are 8 and 12, asked to leave. I'm sorry. I like I like Jason Momoa. I'm a Nicole Kidman fan, but that thing, fucking woof. Uh, it is so goddamn bad. It's... Ugh. Is it just boring? I don't even want... It's like Spencer's Gifts, the movie. It's fucking... Hey, where do you think I got those fart bombs at? (laughs) I wish you a pretty good deal on those. God damn it. They smell better than the box office receipts. (laughs) (laughs) Ugh, that thing fucking... These receipts stink. (laughs) It's making a ton of money, dude. I know. It's cleaning up. I don't care. It's a bad movie. Like, you can go see it and be an idiot and give them your money like I did. Or you can listen to me right now and Jason Momoa will still be fine. So, so I'm guessing nobody shoots bees. No, no, no. That's not, it's not a cinematic masterpiece. I would like watching Aquaman like if it was playing in a um, a crash aquari- compactor. No, <laughs> you know what? I should have spoken so slowly with all these comedic minds up here. We're quick, but uh, Men, uh, verbally, not physically. <laughs> I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it play in aquariums in restaurants. <laughs> Like, you can just look up and see, oh, look at Aquaman. He's really kicking butt down there in the ocean. Good for him. And then you go, you know, back to your conversation. Because he's just like, what, what? Here's my problem with it, is the first thing you see him do is fucking lifting a gigantic submarine up out of the water, and then later That's you're... That's the best part. Right. You should do you that at the end of the movie. You see him do that amazing feat of strength, and then later he's shackled in irons. Like, well, that the guy that lifted yeah. a submarine can't break you know out of a fucking... So you saw it? Yeah, handcuffs? Yeah. yeah, he's being held there by guys dressed like crustaceans. <laughs> That's a thing that happened. They're like, he can't be... Mo-. like, <laughs> They just have him shackled, and he's being held there by scallops. <laughs> They're like, oh, my God, the savior of the ocean can't break free from this Red Lobster promotional dinner. <laughs> oh, Shrimp Fest, he's the main course. <laughs> Fucking nonsense. An 8 and a 12 year old wanted to leave a movie. You know what? They watch anything. Oh, yeah? You think they like A Star is Born? <laughs> hey, I didn't see that yet. No, no spoilers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cargill, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, I actually uh, showed a couple of friends Heavy Trip. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a, a, yeah, no, everybody's like, what? Uh, you, you ask the guy who writes movies for a living, for fuck's sake. Um, no, it's a uh, uh, nor, uh, it's a Finnish uh, death metal comedy uh, that was released in Finland as Impaled Rectum. <laughs> I'll let you unpack that for a moment. That's why I stick with the blockbusters. I was going to say, I Boy, can tell the honest like answer. Or I can tell, that. You know Suck what? on that. I'll be seeing letter. Aquaman tomorrow morning. Uh, no, I was only kidding. I really saw uh, 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 Mary Poppins. Wait, wait, wait back up, back up, back up. That was a joke? No. <laughs> No, it really wasn't. You know, that the is last what movie I, I saw, I watched. That is a movie that you have seen. Yes. And are aware of. Yes. But you didn't show it to friends. Yeah. Oh, you did show it to friends. I did. I had friends over it. But we... since then, you've seen Mary Poppins. Well, I mean, we're all seeing Mary Poppins. 
Haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Didn't know it was out. Loved it. Loved I mean, it. I don't want to break this to you, but there's a lot of people that don't want to see it. Probably more than do than those that do. And like, I I've gotten messages from like dudes going, "Hey, man, my girlfriend wants to see this. How bad's it gonna be?" <laughs> And I, my response is, if you're worried about it, it's going to be bad. Because that movie delivers as another Mary Poppins movie. Is it good? It really does. And most men are, don't want to sit through a fucking Mary Poppins movie. I Wish mean, I Angela seen Lansbury it. was pretty great. Yeah, she's great in this one, but what was she... Was she <clears throat> Still Mary yeah, see, Poppins. You cannot. You are. You are physically. In, in, you cannot possibly say a bad word about Angela Lansbury. Nobody no, I'm can. not going to because she'll murder me and then solve it. <laughs> <laughs> but I That's swear really to you. I swear to you that kid. That kid Chip is missing a piece because that bitch. <laughs> This movie she seems awesome like now. a pretty sweet teapot, but she fucking does not take any lip <laughs> from Chip. <laughs> I don't remember there being child abuse in these movies. But, <laughs> but no, I was going to say, in Mary Poppins, it's funny, though, when in Mary Poppins Returns, at one point, Angela Lansbury pops up, and it just causes confusion, because it's like, was she in the first Mary Poppins in, in some capacity? No. no. But, but was, it does feel like she should have been, because she was in bed knobs and broomsticks. Yeah, which which was which considered is the same movie. Yeah. It was considered a knockoff, but still fucking awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. Armageddon to Deep Impact. Yeah, it totally is, Shane. <laughs> there should be a word for that, like when they release two films that are like uh, the same thing, but. Yeah. yeah, but different movies. Like Which one did you just say? I said Armageddon Deep Impact. Yeah. But there's also a volcano. That Dante's should be Peak. called the Armageddon Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Impact again. When that happens. The Armageddon yeah. Broomstick. Uh, well, that's just stupid. <laughs> Sean. Yes. Waiting patiently. <laughs> Thinking about the last movie you saw. Yeah, I, I actually I loved Mary Poppins Returns, actually. But um, I, it's a love letter to the first Mary Poppins movie. Yeah, definitely. So I Emily Blunt. That's was great. your litmus test. If you love the first Mary Poppins, you're gonna have a great time. It was a good time. If Mary Poppins isn't your thing, then you know. If you like adult newsies, I, don't, I ate a gummy, so it was, it was fantastic <laughs> sale the whole time. Um, but there should I, be more reviews that are that honest. <laughs> uh, oh, and also I ate a gummy. <laughs> the, last, me of my the last movie I saw was last night, and it was the um, the hap no, not the happening, not not a, a blind place. Uh, Bird Box. Yeah, I don't even really want to talk about it that much. But uh, it, did you see Bird Box yet? Now is that where you can rent a bird for twenty four hours? <laughs> <laughs> that's Birch Box, and it's a uh, ladies' cosmetic. No, <laughs> that's the sponsor this week. No, I haven't. Like I like, <laughs> it's been a confusion to me since the first time I heard of it and forgot about it immediately because, yeah. you know what I mean? That's like if a quiet place was called Foxhole. <laughs> 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 like it's like what? What does that yeah. have to do with it? The, no, I don't. Talk about the blindfolds. Yeah. Why isn't it a movie called Blindfolds? I don't know. I Seems like just, a, a, in the pitch meeting it was no just fun to say in. Bird Box. <laughs> That's a little on the nose, don't you think, Doug? It puts the lotion on the Bird Box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you saw it. I watched it last you, night. Wh it was what do you mindlessly. mean you watched it? That sounds like you did. Like, I saw you, it. You, yeah. But not in a motion picture theater? No. God, no. Um, I did see Spider Man. Right. I don't like all these pirates coming on my show <laughs> talking about shit they saw. Sp okay, Spider Man. Wait, it's on Netflix. You can see it. They put it out there. It's, it's not a pirate. Oh, it's situation. a Netflix movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not tired of it. <laughs> with Sandra Bullock, man. Sandra Bullock, man. 
Like, oh, they, John Malkovich. I get confused. Is, I thought uh, it was in, in theaters. <laughs> yeah. No, well, it's. Uh, it probably they probably put it in theaters for a week for Academy yeah, consideration. So they not win any awards for yeah. sure with that. Um, I saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in the theater last. That's, that's awesome. Last yeah. Yeah. And I loved that. Now we're talking. I was laughing out loud the entire time. I, I love the quick-witted stylings. I'm into Nicolas Cage as, as noir Spider-Man. Oh, my God. But what about John Mulaney as Spider-Ham? I'm into <laughs> Nick Cage as noir <laughs> Spider-Man. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about no, Spider Ham. It's all it's all so fun and weird and different and uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. I'm into it. Yeah. Did you uh, uh, early on were you like, oh shit, they're showing a 3D print and I don't have the glasses? No, I, I never go to the 3D. I can't handle it. I feel like uh, it's like just my eyes get tired after like a half hour, so I just go to the boring old. 2D. But this, you know, but this thing has like, uh, you know, blurry areas and stuff sometimes. Yeah, this one was, uh, you know, it, it was it was formatted for, for my for my eyes, and yeah. I watched it perfectly, and and uh, I feel like I got the full effect. That's why I have you on the show all the time, is because you're so good at watching movies, yeah. like you like really see them. I can just see the stuff that's up there. Yeah, and, and so, yeah. It's like, Everybody you know, else just goes and they're like, you know, fumbling around with their popcorn, but you're like watching. Yeah, and then there's like sound that come in that like totally correlate with exactly what's going on on the screen it's like it all fits together like a, a, a jigsaw like the f- yeah. yeah when the rest of us get a hang of it <laughs> movies are really gonna take off I got like a sense for these kinds of things you know like I've had people say to me you know how can you do a podcast just about movies this, this seems like too small of a subject I'm like yeah I'm, w- I'm waiting <laughs> I'm waiting to when there'll be like 40 million movies instead of the 10 million we have now. <laughs> like, do you ever go to uh, like any site that just lists every movie that's opening on a Friday and it's just uh, unbelievable how many movies are being made and then they may be open only in a couple of spots, but still so much stuff out there. Just just wait until one of those sites starts adding all the stuff that like all the streaming services are adding. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then now you're like, oh shit, there's 40 movies out this weekend. What the fuck am I watching? And the answer for some of us is all of them. Yeah. <laughs> we got to keep it that the, you know, movie theaters are the primary. You know, like I saw Roma today at an Alamo Draft House here in the city. Yep. And yeah, which is... Also, when you go to other places in other cities that are like, we have food and drinks while you watch the movie, they don't do it like Alamo Draft House. You're going to be like, what? Alamo rules. They, yeah. I, so I live in Brooklyn, and we just got one like a year ago. And it's been the fucking saving grace. I can't go um, back to a regular I, movie theater. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Just they well, have yeah, not only is it better regular ones, though, but other people are doing dining during the movie wrong. Yeah. Bring, bringing you like plates and forks and knives and having a button you push to call somebody that lights up when you push it. So people in the theater are lighting oh up their God. spot. And then when the person comes, they, they take orders on an iPad and they speak out loud and they don't crouch down to not block people's view. I mean, Alamo Draft House is killing it. And, and they do, those places don't say shit about anybody talking or anything. You know, like yeah. there's none of that stuff either. got recliner chairs too, so if you hate the movie, you could just pass out, which mm-hmm. I've done many times. Well, that's, you know, I will do that. A fun, a fun gag to do at the Alamo is if you're meeting someone there who gets there before you, you, uh, you kind of sneak up behind them in the row, like, you know, where they serve the people behind you, and you kind of pretend like you're the server that's new that doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> and you grab their shoulders and go, hey, I'm your server right now, and you kind of, like, reach for their table. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with, like, an ass hitting the back of their head thing, like, I'm Terry, yeah, and I'll yeah. take or just, Terry. Or just bare butt cheeks on the back of their head. <laughs> the fact that they showed up in New York and they have queso has made me want to live in that city yeah. longer. It's the uh, only the only decent breakfast tacos I can get is at the uh, Twin Cities area one. That's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They that's don't know how to fuck with shit like you guys do here. <laughs> Assholes. Uh, hey, Doug. I'm drunk. Yes, Martha. Martha would like to barge in with her. <laughs> she with won't her, shut the fuck with up. Her, uh, hot take. <laughs> is it New Year's yet? Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is kind of awkward, but um, I have cedar fever, so I've been drinking a lot of liquids, 
and I have to run to the ladies' room real quick. Oh, that's okay. But, Thank you for asking. But I just remembered I have two passes to the Alamo Draft House in my purse, which I'll bring up as an apology for leaving. Oh, that's terrific. So. <laughs> that's a great... Money. That'd anybody, be crazy if, anybody that has to go to the restroom should give something to somebody <laughs> for the trouble, the anguish they put everybody through. Because we don't know a, if she'll come back alive. There is a chance yeah, she just so doesn't come back. So she's really put a lot on us. <laughs> Plus, you know, I was just about to go to the games portion, but we, we you know, <laughs> we need all of my guests to be here for that. Mm-hmm. Can so we have instead, another round? Let's get some more booze. Yeah, that's a good plan. Oh, Topo Chico, please. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll take, I'll take another pearl snap. I'm I'll take another, another rye whiskey and soda, please. I feel like no one's listening to any of these orders. <laughs> Hope so. The guy who downloads this tomorrow is going to be on it. Uh, take a kamikaze <laughs> shot. <laughs> no, I feel like we should uh, just make sure that they're listening and now order something. Rye whiskey rocks, please. Topo Chico. I'll take another one of those Colorado Bulldogs. We're just going to go with those. You think we're at a TGI Friday? Hey, man. Some <laughs> he's he's blue- asking for a Bulldog out of mudslide. Just a round of Bloomin' Onions. Some buffalo wings. I'll take a Pearl Snap, please. <laughs> Can I get some Southwest Pearl Egg Rolls? Snap? Pearl Snap. Do we have Pearl Big snap. Red back there? And uh, let's get a welcome <laughs> back <laughs> shot for Martha. Make it a double. Wouldn't that be weird if there was a shot called Welcome Back? <laughs> Welcome, oh my. <laughs> your it's... dreams were your ticket out. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> the dreams are all dead that you used to laugh about. I don't know the words. <laughs> oh, I miss a don't flirt. worry, Doug. I got a note. <laughs> There's like 12 people that found that funny that it's watched the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the rest of you. That's okay. What's the last um, movie you saw, Doug? Oh, that's a great question. I, right I already that. said. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Roma today. It's oh, yeah. so worth seeing in the theater At for sure. The, it's yeah, it really is like because it's like it's such a small story, but then yeah, it's all visual. Shit mm-hmm. that happens becomes it's so huge. Yeah. Like it's. That Alfonso Cuaron, who directed it, he's a, a genius. And even if you walk away uh, feeling like, you know, you didn't really get it, I think it'll stick with you. Everything you said, for the rest of my I have life. no idea what that film is about. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, I Alfonso. Sounds real deep. I, you it know, sounds heavy as shit. People that listen to my show know that I don't really get, I, get, I say things that are going to make sense after you see it. Uh, more than uh, before because I you know everybody that listens to this show I like to feel wants to not have movies ruined Uh, okay Uh, but but on the other hand I was shocked when they all died (laughs) (laughs) oh that's the the age of Ultron I I described it to some friends before I saw it because I, I try not to read up on things. And, uh, and so I, I had it, uh, I, I was like, yeah, you know, I think it's like um, set in, uh, in Rome and there's uh, these about like uh, two teenage girls from like a, uh, you know, a highfalutin family that kind of like go and slum it on the other side of town, which was completely wrong. And uh, I had to text them back afterwards and be like, that's n- not at all what that movie was about. <laughs> But it was still great, and I had a great time. Yeah, heads up, you guys. <laughs> it's not that, for that, sure. If so. you were psyched for that, <laughs> I was pumped. <laughs> I'm going to write that movie now, though. Just for me to see. Yeah, it's a trippy movie, and but you, you know, it should only be discussed amongst people who saw it, which yeah. will be, the numbers might be small, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. You got those uh, gifts that you promised, Martha? Yeah, I have two um, admission tickets and two $10 food and beverage vouchers. So. Yeah, Jesus. Sorry, it's Bam really, really unprofessional to go to the bathroom in the middle of a show, but um, I've been sick with cedar fever. Anyway, 
You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this really there is a is. hell of a prize bag. <laughs> that's like that's oh, yeah. fifty bucks right there. I don't. I don't yeah. know what's wrong with that. Yeah, I, I, it's all terrific, especially the stuff that I'm going to hang on to. <laughs> and, uh, you want to be my I'm plus really, one? I'm really uh, going to see Roma again. Oh my God, I would. Because it'd be it'd be such a different experience knowing what's going to happen is because it's such the movie unfolds in such an unusual way the first time I'm going to sneeze <laughs> that was isn't so that weird that I'm allergic to vinyl <laughs> such a weird I'm uh, sorry I, I'm, I feel bad about it because you know vinyl keeps making that comeback <laughs> When's the final comeback of vinyl going to be? God, I final don't know. vinyl. Every couple of years, somebody tells me that it's making a comeback. I'm like, uh, I thought it already came yeah. back. I'm fine. No, it's just it came back, and now it's just like fifty dollars or something. You used yeah, to be able to get for like nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> but you can get that new remaster that everybody needed of that Beatles record you've heard a thousand times. <laughs> Let the games begin. Turn it off, Bert. Turn it off. Um, people brought name tags. Lots of beautiful, glorious name tags. Each and every one of you has to choose one that you're going to play for. We're out of time, so it's going to be a coin flip. But go ahead. All right, we did oh, it. I didn't see that one. Everybody got one. <laughs> Such a polite crowd. No yelling. It's very peaceful. <laughs> Let's start with Sean down there. Uh, I'm just way into this artwork for The Dark Rachel, the play on The Dark Crystal here, one of my favorite films from childhood and beyond. So I'll be playing for Rachel. Do you... Um, I'm excited to see your show uh, where you sing the songs of uh, Dirty Dancing, but uh, what do you think about a show where you sing the songs of The Dark Crystal? <laughs> It would be scary, uh, to terrifying for children. Really, like it because was for myself. Uh, Skeksis are scary, aren't they? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're bringing Skeksy back. The moment to do that song, <laughs> um, I would do uh, the, the music of Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Oh for sure. my God, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I'm down. All right, what do you got there, Martha? Um. Crazy Richard Asians, just because mm -hmm. I love the wordplay. And, oh, don't read that till the end. So, there's really not anything else to say about yeah, it. Yeah, you couldn't, you know, they made a Richie Rich movie, right? <laughs> Richard. <laughs> but every rich way but loose. Yeah. Or get that's Richard, good. die trying. <laughs> you see what we're saying, Richard? The like the Richards of Eastwick. <laughs> the seven year rich would have been good. All right. <laughs> Dumbass. The Richard of Oz. Mine was late, but shit. But <laughs> okay. he got picked, so I guess you uh, know, I can't, can't I argue know. with that success. What do you got there? It's a what like, kind of hat is that? Chris? It looks like Slash from Guns N' Roses top hat, but they painted it gold and ruined it. And uh, steampunk has your face on it, Doug, with a bird coming out the face. It is as Labyrinth. So Labyrinth. Is, yeah, Doug Benson's What's Labyrinth. Another? Ryan and oh, Ryan hey, flew Ryan. over the cuckoo's next <laughs> nest. So I guess his name is Ryan. It's a little more offensive than the Richard, crazy Richard Asians. Yeah. I saw it from a distance and went for it, and, you know, this is what it is. <laughs> right on my left. Well, you can put it down on the ground if you want. All right. Yeah. Well, I could suggest oh, maybe could boy, boys don't <laughs> cry in. That's Ooh. pretty good. <laughs> I could do this game all day, so stop me whenever you need. It's not a game. Hard. <laughs> 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 This is real. Eyes. Hard Ryan Eyes. with Christian Slater and Warren Freeman. <laughs> Who did you pick, Shane? I picked uh, Jonathan Redline. Um, uh, apparently, it's got Chris D'Elia, the singer from Eve Six, and Chris Kubis on here. <laughs> uh, and he put two bottles of vodka on it, so I'm keeping them. Oh, what flavor? 
Tito's. Nice. Yeah. I'm playing I mean, for. We gotta do a quick ad. Hang on a second. <laughs> Tito's vodka. <laughs> Gluten free. Cause what vodka is it? <laughs> Back to the show. Tito's vodka, a Christian vodka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's who's up? <laughs> I, I think I'm the only one left. Yeah, what do you got there? I got, I got Reindeer James. <laughs> That's a good one, right? I, there. Uh, <laughs> Somebody put the work in. And I, I'm very sorry to there will be Brian who got very excited for just a moment. Uh, but yeah, you did is, graze him. I, yeah, I, I apologize. I uh, I saw Reindeer Games 20 years ago, or going on 20 years ago. It will never leave my head. And the fact that someone else is suffering with the same affliction really touched me. <laughs> and so I had to play for him and his illness. That's really sweet. Very fair. May I see that? Thank you. <laughs> Why are you guys piling your name tags on top of each other over there? Oh, you didn't know what to do. Here, throw, throw yours down, like, right in front of you that way. The idea is so I know uh, who you're me. playing for. Yeah, there you go. I'm starting to like the labyrinth the more and more I think about it. <laughs> I mean, it's no crazy Richard Asians. <laughs> she beat me to it. <laughs> All right, so that's who everybody's playing for, and I've got uh, several games planned that are going to take way longer than we have time for. <laughs> We had so much fun uh, just chatting during the first part of the show. So, since this is your first time on the show, Cargill, I know it's yours too, Steve. Or Steve? Chris. <laughs> Chris. When did Steve show up? <laughs> did you go. tell Chris we want him back? I'll, I'll go by Steve from now on, whatever. <laughs> No, that's cool. <laughs> uh, Cargill, you're going to go first in a game of ABCD's Nuts! I turned and looked over there like there was something going to happen. <laughs> Thought my phone would be sitting there. I was going to look right at it, catch the time, move on, smooth host. <laughs> Holy shit, we're so far behind. <laughs> I am polluted right now. <laughs> I need an official number from the club. How many minutes over can I go? Two and a half? You got it. I don't know. They might have a more official number. Um, they're discussing it in the back. I can hear it. <laughs> ABCD's Nuts is a spelling game where I give you a letter and then you name a movie that begins with that letter. If the movie begins with the letter the, it begins with the letter T. Yeah, none of, none of that alphabet, alphabetization shit. <laughs> and tonight we're going to spell, since I'll be interrupting it at the Castro Theater in San Francisco on Sunday, January 13th at 420 as part of SF Sketch Fest. Sidebar, has anybody here seen all three Fifty Shades movies? You did? For what? reals? They're on HBO. They're on HBO. See, that's what? no excuse. You realize that's no real excuse. Also, that's crazy. I've seen all three of them. <laughs> I Before said, HBO. Did you think you didn't count when I said, does anyone here? Well, I thought you were talking to the commoners. I, uh... <laughs> of all the special people... How many? Yeah, just you. Yeah. And this lady. Have both seen all of those movies. Yep. And did you feel at the end of the third one, well, you know what? This shit paid off. <laughs> this was a slow burn and worth all the effort. Absolutely. It was worth absolutely nothing. I cannot wait to watch the third one because I, I still haven't seen it. I'm going to see it cold. But in the meantime, that's what we're going to spell. Fifty Shades Freed. Which, I mean, they get married. Why is, it, why is she... She's not free. Or are they giving away the ending? All right, so... Basically, the idea is when the letter gets, next letter gets you... Name any movie that begins with that letter, but a theme will emerge, 
And if you match the movie that I've written down in advance, then you win this whole game in advance. And I would love it. You, I mean, you win automatically. You don't win it in, in advance. <laughs> Holy Get shit. Get it together, Doug. Whoa. <laughs> Good so God. the first letter in Fifty Shades Freed is F to Cargill. Name a movie begins with F. Foxfire. Yes, but no. <laughs> it begins with F, but I wrote down Female Trouble. Okay. From the great John Waters. Next letter is I to Shane. It. Excellent answer. Not what I wrote. I put in the realm of the senses. F is the next letter for Chris Steve (laughs) Tellez. You you could just call me FST. And uh, what does the F mean? Steve. um, Wait, what? (laughs) Fargo. I'm going to go with Fargo on that. Fargo. (laughs) No, I said Flesh Gordon meets the Cosmic Cheerleaders. That's the other one I was going to say. The next letter is... (laughs) Is T to you, Martha? Um, the road chip, the fourth Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. I don't even think that's the name of it. I don't, I don't think that's what it's <laughs> called, but people are on their feet. They people send her money. People Cargill are on their feet. That's a deep cut. <laughs> I went with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, so very close. <laughs> Why is the next letter for Sean, I'm a.k.a. Go with Harmar, Yentl, Superstar? I went with E2 Mama Tambien. Uh-huh. S is the next letter for Cargill. I'm going to go with Sinister. I wrote, the guy loves Thank it. Thank you, I wrote it. loves it. <laughs> also true. <laughs> I went with... I went to a movie you did it right called Shame. H. H. Shane uh, H. Shit. Hell or high water. Mm-hmm. I said Henry and June. <laughs> mm. A A Mr. Tellez. I think I know what you picked. Is that for Alan Rickman just uh, dropped by? <laughs> Anaconda. That's it. No. What? This game is hard. American Psycho. Of course. Of course. Hans. D to you, Martha. Um, Die Hard. Yeah. No. (laughs) Her. Her. I went with. Dice rules. <laughs> yeah. E, Mr. Superstar. I'd say <laughs> E.T., the extraterrestrial. And, <laughs> and his adventures on Earth. I went with Emmanuel, the joys of a woman. So, so worldly. Uh, yes. That's the one with Mira yes. Sorvino. <laughs> yes. True. Cargill. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Answer the question. Uh, the letter is. I should have given you a letter S. Sinister two. <laughs> Which I uh, am ashamed to say I also wrote. (laughs) (laughs) I wish. (laughs) I went with Swearnet the movie. Yeah, featuring the Trailer Park Boys. I'll be on their cruise in in March. Yeah, I I know how to slip in a plug. (laughs) Both of you do. (laughs) (laughs) It's more like the plug slipped out. Yeah. (laughs) All right, you're never going to get this in a million years. Shane. What's my letter? E. We're spelling Fifty Shades Freed, and we're up to... We, we, just, we were at the S. Oh, yeah, this is happened? F. Yeah, your letter's F. <laughs> Are you fucking oh. serious right now? <laughs> yes. 
I thought he was O. <laughs> You're supposed to be keeping track of that. You're supposed to be thinking about uh, what the next letter is going to be. R F, for my you. My movie is F. Steve my Shane. movie is F. What? Or my Chris, letter is F. Yes. Fuqua Man. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Great guess. I went with Flesh Gordon meets the Cosmic Cheerleaders. Again? Yeah, I couldn't think of another... <laughs> I couldn't think of another F title that fits the theme. It's crazy that you you're going to love this theme. Put all this you're going to love the theme. It doesn't feel like you guys are worried about the theme. It doesn't feel like you're worried about the theme. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm laser focused on the theme. And I can't think of anything else right now. Isn't that right, Mark? I thought it was Steve. Come on. That's John. Come on, John, That's Mark, Paul Steve, Gosler. Chris. What letter am I? Chris Tellez, the letters R. R. Uh, you got this. I do got this. Think about what I'm thinking. Think I know about exactly. All those what you're titles you've already heard. Man. Uh, I told you I only stick with the blockbusters. I'm gonna go with RoboCop. That is the correct answer. Really? Fuck yeah! I could feel it. I could fucking feel it. I knew I was gonna be the one. I did know I was gonna be the one. Thank you. Fuck yeah! That feels good. And the theme is movies that initially received an NC-17 or X rating from the Motion Picture Board I, of the Motion Picture of Thing of America <laughs> and either kept that initial rating or edited it down to an R rating. So all those movies did, did that. E.T.? Mm-hmm. <laughs> one of them. Yep, that thing had... It's actually... Uh, that the thing original had title quite a dick. Testicle. It wasn't the end of his finger that glowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where was that finger? Right he, here is his butthole in the original he had, uh, <laughs> Yeah. And his penis would eat the Reese's Pieces. <laughs> because his penis was his mouth. His mouth was used for more important things like talking. Lucky penis. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all take care of the weight staff tonight. <laughs> I want to play out the rest of this, though, see how, see how it goes. So after Martha... Wait, who said Robocop? Crit. Uh, so, Martha, what would you have said for letter E? For NC-17... No, I, I have zero guesses. All right. So. It has yeah, to be for of NC course 17? not. It's cool. Oh, well, it has to be something that initially got an NC-17 oh, or an okay. X, and then fought to get it lowered or just kept it and uh, the answer there is Evil Dead 2 oh, oh. Shit. then the next the next E goes to Sean I would have said um, East of Eaton Ass <laughs> <laughs> I think that one stayed in C-17 oh, you can edit that down to a pretty good love story <laughs> 2 was the I one I knew there was a good reason to keep this game going <laughs> I knew there was some hidden fun, but I went with uh, Evil Dead from, from the one from 2013 was almost uh, NC-17. And then back to you, Cargo, for the final D. D. I've made three fucking movies, and you hand me Doctor Strange on a platter. But yeah, but what would Doctor the Strange theme? have said that had to be cut to make it? Yeah, exactly. But if you're going with a theme, I would go Debbie Does Dallas. I mean, that was just straight up porn, porn, though, right? It was there X. Was, there was never an argument about what it was, the rating was going to be, I don't think. I think they wanted an X for that one. I would have said W to Described it perfectly. What did, you, what did you come up with? I couldn't think of another one, so I went dice rules again. <laughs> 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 but great job, everybody, but especially Chris. We rarely get a match, and I do not put that on the guests. That's all on me. Uh, but let's see if I have time for... All right, we're going to have to do a really fast Last Man Stanton. Someone told me... Wait. Yeah, they're telling me now we've got until 7.45. Jesus I don't have I don't I don't have a what thing in my I don't have a thing in my ear. We've got like five more minutes. So uh, 
This is the game where I get the name of an actor or an actress from an audience member, and you guys take turns naming a movie that they've been in. If you can't think of one, you're out. And just for the sake of time, there'll be no lifelines tonight. And uh, I've pre-selected... And I'm going to play along just to make it even tougher. And uh, I've pre-selected somebody from Twitter to give us a suggestion uh, for a name, and that person is Lambie on the Lamb. Lambie on the Lamb. He looks like a Lambie on the Lamb. Sitting right there. (laughs) Next, watch out for the guy with the bowling pin. Yeah, and did he... Did he drink your milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your actual name? Isaac. Isaac? Yeah. And uh, what do you do for a living, Isaac? I work for we don't have time. We've got like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what's your suggestion for the game tonight? Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. God, I like man. it. He's local. He's been in some blockbusters. <laughs> <laughs> He's... <laughs> I mean, he's made movies locally, and um, I don't want to say any more to give anything away. And uh, good luck to everybody. We'll start with uh, Chris, and then go to Martha, Sean, me, Cargill, and Shane. I think I got them. <laughs> what? I couldn't I, see you. I know. I get it. Yeah. You were, you were, you were blocked. All right, All right. But, but go ahead, Chris. Any movie that's got Antonio Banderas. Okay. I'm going to start off and just go with Assassins. Oh, Ass... God damn ass- Assassins. Assassins. Ins. I could feel that that was the one he was thinking of, so I took it. Ass- Assassins. The movie with two asses. <laughs> That's just true. It's not necessarily... It doesn't have to be comedy. It could just be like, Doug just said something that's true. The thing that's going to blow your mind is that they made a movie called American Assassin and Antonio Banderas isn't in it. That's true. It's one less ass. Well, now i got to think of another pick. Um, where are we at? Me. Uh, Zorro. Right? That's, yeah. That's the only I believe one that's I what it was called. Zorro, semicolon, right? <laughs> <laughs> the mask of Zorro. Uh, Sean? Puss in Boots. Yes, indeed. Okay, my turn. I'm going to go with... Um, oh, oh, oh. What was that thing called? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why am I working so hard at this? Just say it. Just say Desperado. Damn it. That was one of those. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to do Spy Kids. Yeah. I'm going to do El Well, slow down. (laughs) Well, speed up. Okay, what are you going to do? El Mariachi. Who was? That's not a thing? Well, then I'll say no, no, that is a movie, but he's not in it. Then can I say something else real quick? Because I feel like that's a cheat. <laughs> yeah, just don't, you know. Dance with me. Be so. Maybe then, after the show, tell me the title <laughs> of. Uh... <laughs> All right, back to you, Chris. Uh, Once upon a time in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Martha? I did think of the only other movie I know, which is uh, Truth or Dare, the Madonna documentary. Oh, very good. Wow. He's the one that, he's the title character. <laughs> Steve Truth. <laughs> John? I, I'm going to have to go with the low hanging fruit of Spy Kids 2. Wait, what was the rest of it called, though? Uh, the second Spy Kids film. <laughs> A children's film. <laughs> Spy hard on my chest. <laughs> I think that it was, was the NC-17 Spy Kids one. <laughs> also. <laughs> Spy it all over my back. <laughs> Spy hard. Spy, Spy hard again. <laughs> oh, shit, I thought of it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the riffing. Because it helped me to remember Miami Rhapsody. 
Yeah, you yeah. sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, a Woody Allen ripoff back when anyone would want to try to do that. Cargill? Spy Kids 3. Full title. We got to get, get serious in these later rounds. Another Spy Kids movie. No, we got something closer to truth. I, get, uh, uh, I, I, I honestly thought the third one was just called Spy Kids 3. No, but. they got all got more words. Mm hmm. <laughs> but I can go with the title. Wordy. That is yeah, you can switch it up. Uh, Born Yesterday. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. right. I believe he did. <laughs> Shane? Uh, um, I think it's called 29. It's the What's it about? Chilean miners. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's not the number. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry, you're out. I you're out. You're sorry, out. I didn't get the infinite you're one out. right. Too many. You're out. You, nobody had the nuts to take it. But you're out. Me. You're out. Spike gets three. Back you're in out. the habit. <laughs> Chris, uh, this is gonna feel cheap, but I can't see how it could be denied. Uh, Shrek, right? No, you're out. But it's the original. Martha. <laughs> Oh, fuck Sorry, you. Ryan. Yeah, the puss, did, the puss didn't show up till later. <laughs> oh, you're oh, right. That's you're my at, kid's story. He, <laughs> Puss in Boots wasn't in show. <laughs> is, um, is there a movie called Intolerable Cruelty and is he in it? <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> I'm out then. Sorry. John? Fuck, I thought of one. I feel like I'm I'm choking right now. But is he in From Dusk Till Dawn? No. No. People are excited to agree with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> that one just feels like I live in their world. They're like, oh, we flat yeah. earthers believe he was in From Dusk Till Dawn. <laughs> he should have been the coat gun guy, but he's not. What we believe is real. You're you're thinking of Danny Trejo. Hey, I'm not thinking of him. I'm always thinking of Danny Trejo. But, uh, the other Banderas. No. God, now I sound like a total asshole. Madagascar. No. <laughs> Is that? Are you all right? <laughs> It's my safe word. <laughs> my safe word is yawn. <laughs> Wait, who's still in? Show of hands. No, you're not. <laughs> so wait, if I can't think of one, Cargill wins? All right, then I can't think of one. One. Do you have another one, Cargill? It's four. Yeah. So Still sometimes spying. it really get you. But um, I was trying to think of what's that one where he's like kind of a hippie dude and Annette Benning is in it, I think. Oh. Um, Primal Fear. Last few years. No. And then wasn't he in that one with Annette Benning? There was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, wasn't he in the one with Angelina Jolie? Uh, Original sin. sin. I couldn't think of the title of that I one. I couldn't think of that one. It's like, oh, what else right. did we miss? So many of them. Uh, oh shit! He's in Spy Kids the 3D game over. Yeah. He, said, Shrek he said it with anger in his heart. The yeah. fact that we all missed Interview with the Vampires kind of fucking embarrassing. We always miss like really. Philadelphia, yes. wow, that's there right. were some stars in there too. Yes. Oh, we were talking to Antonio Bandanas. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, James, come get your prizes. Congratulations to James. I hope that numbs the fear of reindeer games still being in your head. That one's got the nightlight in it, so it'd be wow. extra dainty with the Disney bag. What I forgot to mention dude. it's in a beautiful Disney bag. And there you go. Congratulations, James. 
He just said he's going to go back and save an orphanage, so that worked out great. But, uh, well, he's that's gonna, good. He's uh, not my date. Do then. something great. Brian's going to go stick his head in an oven. It's going to be very sad. <laughs> Uh, let's real quick uh, get some plugs in for everybody, starting with our friend there on the end, Mr. Harmar, superstar. Hi. Uh, Where do they go for your dates? How long is your tour? What's going on? Uh, you know, I've just got a few shows coming up in the sp- uh, the next couple months, so um, I don't even know where they are. Besides in Austin, Texas, uh, come to 310 ACL on the 30th. If you, I don't know when this comes out. And New Year's Eve, I'll be at Barracuda, and uh, I think we're bringing Batman Returns, Returns, the musical to Minneapolis uh, in, in February, but I can't really say for sure. So uh, I, I want to see that. Oh, it's really fun. You I play played, Catwoman? I, play, well, I, I, I was going to, actually, but then I, I, I really wanted to be Penguin, and I was born to play. All right, look at him, right? Look at, just look at me. Great. That's great. Great job, and thank you for being here. Go see his shows this weekend. This guy's running out to buy tickets right now. There he I, I'm goes. I'm sorry. Did I? Oh, man. <laughs> Martha Kelly, what's coming up for you besides New Year's Eve right here? Um, on January 12th, I am somehow uh, have swindled my way into co-headlining at Cobb's with Mary Lynn Rice Cobb. For yeah, six yeah, that's a show. So I'm very excited. And when scared. is that? Um, January 12th at Cobb's. Nice, Santa part of uh, SF Sketch Fest. Right, and maybe cool. it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> I'm not, you'd have to look on the website. Okay. We'll figure it out. (laughs) My notes blew from one table to another table. And anyone who saw that must have been like, well, that was cool. (laughs) And anything else, Martha? Should people, how can they follow you on the social media? It's best if they don't. I I say some bad stuff. She has, she has a lot of people die in her life. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. All right, don't follow Martha Kelly. <laughs> watch, the, watch every season of Baskets. It's really good. And uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah. Chris, tell us, what do you got going on, dude? Uh, yeah, so on the 7th of January, we're doing Shit's Golden here in Austin. That's at Spider House. We do that monthly. And uh, yeah, just follow me on Twitter on Hi Chris Tellez. That's H I Chris Tellez. And uh, I post shows and stuff. And I post Martha's shows as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing Martha, follow my social media accounts. And uh, that's actually at harmarsuperstar.com, which goes directly to his I'd love his to help feet. out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's keeping food on the table. <laughs> well, does, does uh, the person who made this, Ryan, <laughs> does it have a shithead somewhere on it? I don't think he does. It fell oh, it off? off? Who is it? Just say it quietly. My wife. Oh, shit. His wife. <laughs> well, I guess you could give it back to him or something. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chris. <laughs> All right, Shay Torres, what uh, what have you got to plug? Um, um, I have a new web series coming out with Comedy Central called Shane Conquers Fear. Uh, so if you want to watch that, that'd be great. It's a uh, it's positive fear factor. Uh, <laughs> Positive. I just had, positive I just had my fear friends on that have phobias, and then I create a challenge for their phobia. So my friend Molly's afraid of snakes, so I made her dance with a boa constrictor like Britney Spears. Oh, that's so uh-huh. funny because my friend Snake won't take Molly. <laughs> <laughs> and a punch after the bell by Benson. Uh, <laughs> and I, uh, I got a, uh, I got a podcast coming out called Last Time where I interview somebody about something that happened six months before, in their, like something that happened in their life in the present, and then I interview them six months later. So my friend got married, so I'm interviewing six months after they got married to see how it's different. So all one episode, that's all coming out. And uh, Shane Torres on social media. Yes. And our winner tonight, C. Robert Cargill. What have you got to plug, dude? 
Uh, well, I've also, in addition to my movies, I've written a couple of books. Uh, I have one that was nominated for the Arthur C. Clarke Award called Sea of Rust. I've, thank you. Uh, I've also got another, uh, it's a collect, I mentioned earlier, collection of horror stories called uh, We Are Where the Nightmares Go. You can find those anywhere you buy books. You can buy them here at Book People or any of the other bookstores around town or get them off Amazon, however you do it. Uh, also, uh, if you like movies and if you listen to this podcast, you might. Um, I do a weekly podcast with my buddy Brian uh, called Junk Food Cinema, where we... Oh, <laughs> thank you, three guys. A couple of hoot heads in the house. Uh, Total J- thank you, JFC Brian. JFC section over there. Where, where we, we just get drunk and talk about old exploitation movies. So, uh, yeah, there's there's that. That's uh, And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Massive Worm. That's M-A-S-S-A-W-Y-R-M. Well, thank you so much. Great job to you. And everyone, thanks for being on the last show of the year. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Camp City Comedy for any time I say I feel like doing a show here. They're very gracious about letting me do it. And then you guys show up. So it's very, uh, I don't know, what's it, symbiotic? I don't know. Uh, I don't know those science fiction expressions like my friend Cargill. But... um, (laughs) <laughs> Before we go, I have to do the reading of the shitheads. That's the uh, consolation prize for those of you who fell too early. Uh, starting with, of course, my wife. My wife <laughs> is a shithead. <laughs> Cultural attache Dennis Rodman is a shithead. <laughs> One of the greatest rebounders of all time. <laughs> La La Land is still a shithead. I like. It. <laughs> and Bird Box is a shithead. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold, his viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room in his heart for you, cause Doug loves movies. When you need energy on the go and don't have time to wait in line, grab Espresso Monster. Espresso Monster is a premium blend of espresso and cream made with freshly brewed espresso coffee, hormone-free milk, and a unique energy blend complete with taurine and B vitamins. Each can has three shots of espresso and comes in vanilla espresso or espresso and cream flavors. Close your eyes, take a sip, and enjoy Espresso Monster today. Bye-bye. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold, his viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room in his heart for you, cause